Hey, this is Steve Butler from TrueUrban.com, and today I'm presenting a tutorial on how to get that fat, big 808 sound that cuts through your tracks. And I'm going to share some techniques and tactics on how to make that happen. Um, before I get started, first thing I want to say is you can make this process easier if you start out with great sounding uh, drum sounds like start out with a great sounding 808 whether you get it from a kit um, sample it from somewhere however wherever you get it make sure you start out with a great sound it just makes the, this process so much easier uh, a lot of times i see people just dump effects and eq on top of eq trying to make a kind of crappy 808 sounding uh, sound trying to make it into something and it's best to just have a, a library of great uh, 808s to choose from and uh, my source personally um, is comes from uh, our speaker buster and what we did was like we grew up, compiled a huge library of a uh, big library of great sounding 808s and Put it in into this contact module called Speaker Buster. It's from True Urban. Uh, it's an 808 and sub bass module, and these are uh, these 808 sounds are great right out of the box. And uh, Speaker Buster also has a lot of effects parameters you can use and tweak to actually shape the sound the way you want it and um, so you don't have to even use outside effects to get it you can but there's a lot of things right in the box here that you can use to get a great sound i'm starting with um this revenge of the 808 it's a patch drum sound that's inside a speaker buster i have a sequence already up um let's get it let's get going this pretty simple pattern uh, I have a hi-hat and a snare um, there just sort of like just for a comparison of, of level as to where my 808 is sitting um, in contrast to uh, the snare and the hi-hat so this is what you're listening to is the 808 patch right at untouched right out of speaker buster so and it sounds great what i like to do with my 808s is i like to add a kick to give it a little punch helps it to get that that knocking sound you know um i have it muted right now but i have a kick inside the pattern and i'm going to unmute now and hopefully you can hear the difference hear that see kick like that on top, what combined with the 808 just gives it that extra punch. Another mistake I see producers make is they'll, they'll search for an 808 that already has that punch that works okay. I don't particularly care for that because I like to have some control over how much of that punch I want in the track. So I just need an 808 to do exactly what it does, hold down that bottom and I'll find a kick to add all the other frequencies that I need on top of that. So again, without the kick, with the kick. And so let's get back to the 808. Only thing I'm gonna add here is a little EQ. Just fatten up the bottom. I could have done this inside Speaker Buster, but I understand everybody doesn't have it. And um, but this is I'm gonna use add a little bottom using the CQ. Hear that? And all I did was added a little low frequency and I rolled off a little bit of the high frequency of this 808 because I don't. Everything I need as far as the highs are concerned in this area is being handled by this kick. Again, without the, without the EQ, 
subscribe to the channel there will be more tutorials to come and I hope you got some use out of this uh, out of this lesson stay tuned go to trueurban.com uh, take care guys